The internet makes us dumb. Yes, it does. How, you might say? Well, let me explain to you what happened to me just the other morning. I was almost out of waffle mix. Okay, I have this nice bag of pre-mixed waffle mix. All I do is add water, put it in the waffle making thing. Voila, I have waffles. But I was almost out of mix and I was like, uh, what do I do? Look it up. Except for I couldn't look it up. I didn't have any internet. Okay, so I was like, okay, I would normally just look up what to do if you almost run out of waffle mix. And then I was thinking to myself, this is so stupid. You should know what to do if you almost run out of waffle mix, Jesse. Come on, it's just a waffle. And that's when it hit me. I can't even make waffles without the internet. Yeah, I have internet dependence disorder. Id. Because like, Every time I need to know something, I don't think about it too hard. I don't sit and ponder and talk about it with somebody and say, you know, I think it's this way, or, you know, I think it's that way. No, you know what we do? We say, I'll Google it, and then we Google it. And did you notice that typing is now thumbing? I didn't say Google it, I said Google it. Everything's changing, y'all. Everything's changing, and we've got to make sure our brains are ready for the future. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna take a stand against it. I'm gonna make waffles from scratch, all the way, with no premixes. Okay, except for I'm not gonna use regular flour, I'm gonna use self-rising flour, but let's not talk about that. I'm an American. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make the waffles from scratch and roll it. I'm gonna mix everything up in this clear bowl and wear this pretty pink apron I got from Oaxaca. I only wanna make one or maybe two waffles, so I'm gonna use a half a cup of flour, one egg, and just some milk. Cracking this egg on camera makes me nervous. Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> Perfect, now I just have to wash my hands. And remember what I have to do next. Oh yeah, milk. Now all my ingredients are together, the flour, the egg, and the milk, and now I need something to stir with, a fork. I could use a whisk, but I didn't have one handy. I'm not really a measuring cup kind of cook, so let the mixing, pouring, and mess making begin. Oh yeah, I knew I'd be needing some more milk. I'll pour in a little milk and mix, mix, mix some more. So if these waffles end up tasting good, you better believe I'm actually going to remember how I made them, you know? And if I had used the internet and just looked up some random recipe, no, I wasn't going to remember that. And that was going to make me internet dependent. I had to coat the grill with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and then I can pour in the waffle mix. Now I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. This is a double waffle maker. How sweet! My aunt once told me that the rubber spatula is a million dollar kitchen tool because it saves you a million dollars. How cool is that? Now we just wait on the beep. I'm coming. I'll be right there. I'm coming. I'll be right there. Just listen to that sizzle. With more practice, I'm sure this waffle will be picture perfect. But for right now, this waffle looks dang good. The other beep ought to go off any time now. Perfect timing. See, I wasn't too impatient. It's time to give these two waffles the butter and syrup treatment they deserve. Go easy on the syrup now. That stuff's fattening. I hope it tastes good. All right. My homemade from away from internet waffles. <laughs> How do I say this? The waffles I made in order to protect myself against id look wonderful. 
but how do they taste? That's the question. Will these be Jesse treats or dog treats? Marty looked at me when I said dog treats. Did you know what a dog treat is? Let's dig in. I made waffles <laughs> without the internet. Oh my gosh. And they taste great. Okay, all I did, y'all, was one egg, a little bit of self-rising flour, <laughs> and milk. <laughs> Made a little soupy, poured it in that nice waffle maker thing that y'all saw that I had, and it turned out great. Okay, I just need some strawberries. <laughs> Anybody got any strawberries? You got any strawberries? You got some strawberries? Have you got any strawberries? Do you have any strawberries? I can't keep them all straight. You got any strawberries? I don't have any strawberries. But I got waffles. <laughs> Thanks everybody for learning English with me. Your teacher online, your English teacher online, Jessica Heather from Southern English. That's right, that's my name, that's who I am. <sighs> okay. We're going to pretend I didn't record that. Oh. <laughs> Take two on that. Thanks, everybody, for learning English with me, Jessica Heather, your online English teacher from sevenglace.com. There was a question, is it .com or is it punto .com? Well, it just usually comes out punto .com because I'm used to saying sevenglace.com. Take three. Thanks, guys, for learning English with me, Jessica Heather, your online English teacher from SettlingEnglish.com. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to learn more English, and please visit my website, SettlingEnglish.com, for a personal notarized, no, not notarized, oh my gosh, I can't do it. I really can't, y'all. Visit my website, SettlingEnglish.com for a complete transcript of this video, complete with personal notes on like almost every line, okay? I have a whole lot to say about everything I say, so go check it out. Please subscribe. Mwah. I think that was take five. Yeah, we rocked it. Do you or a loved one suffer from id? If so, call 1-800-STOP-ID now. Don't delay. All right, no, for real, if you suffer from id, my completely made-up disorder that is, by the way, a real disorder, but it's not called id, it's called internet addiction, something other. But the point is, it is real, and I wanted to bring it to light, and also, for real, make a joke about it, but for real, fight it as well. So, share this video. Help fight against internet addiction. <laughs> share, share, subscribe, subscribe. Stay on here, watch all my videos. Don't do it. Limit yourself. Okay? Limits. Limits are good. See y'all in the next video. Bye. Mwah!